President Ramnath Kovind unveils bust of Mahatma Gandhi at Villeneuve, Switzerland, says his legacy will inspire mankind. Doordarshan completes 60 years. People remember its journey that revolutionized television circuit in the country. Manipuri women play an important role in various social issues in the state, says Governor Dr. Najma Heftullah. Assam government to cover over 2.5 lakh BPL families under Ayushman Bharat, says Health and Family Welfare Minister Himanta Vishwa Sharma. And in cricket, first T20 international between India and South Africa to begin a short while from now at Dharamshala. Good evening viewers and welcome to the Northeast News Bulletin. This is Sangeeta Bhattacharji. Now with the details. President Ramnath Kovind on Saturday unveiled the bust of Mahatma Gandhi marking the 150th anniversary of the father of the nation and hoped that his legacy will inspire mankind to tackle climate change and conserve ecology. The president in a special event organized in Villeneuve, Switzerland thanked the commune of Villeneuve for celebrating Gandhi's legacy and naming a square after him. The president highlighted the special connection Gandhi had with Villeneuve as he visited the town in 1931 at the invitation of Nobel as laureate Romain Roland. He said the that Mahatma Gandhi believed in the oneness observes. of humanity. He further added that Gandhiji Second embraced all cultures here. and all people. The, the president is on the second Mahatma leg Gandhi of his 93 nation tour Nam to Iceland, Switzerland his and Slovenia. As we work together for global peace, to tackle climate change and to conserve our environment. Doordarshan has completed 60 years. On 15th September 1959, Doordarshan started a journey that revolutionized the television circuit in the country. From a few hours of programming, Doordarshan in its 60 years old journey has grown into a vast family with a huge bouquet of channels catering to various topics. Television history in India is synonymous with Doordarshan's glorious history. Even today, the very mention of Doordarshan rekindles some fond memories of yesteryears. Director General of Doordarshan Supriya Sahu in a tweet message said, Doordarshan is in the DNA of India. Happy birthday, Doordarshan. 60 glorious years of DD. May you continue to enthrall generations of Indians. Manipur Governor Dr. Hajma, Najma Heptullah has said that women in Manipur play important roles in various social issues in the state. Delivering her speech at the 13th anniversary of Manipur State Commission for Women held in Imphal today, the governor stated that the rising of crime against women in the state is a matter of grave concern. Emphasizing the need to fight crime against women collectively, Governor also appealed the women of the state for taking intensive drive against drug, drug trafficking and abusing. Highlighting the status of Manipuri women, Governor said that in Manipuri society, women are given due respect and placed at higher level. Chief Minister Ranbiran Singh also addressed the meeting. Meanwhile, Manipur Governor Dr. Najma Heftal announced that state will host a two-day United Nations International Conference to discuss the issues related to drug menace, HIV-AIDS problems in the region from September 20, 2019. Speaking to the media persons on the sidelines of Foundation Day celebration of Manipur State Commission for Women in Imphal today, the governor said that delegates from around seven countries would be participating at the international conference. On the northeastern state, so that we have a comprehensive policy about fighting against it. This is not a problem only of Manipur. This is the whole northeast and the country. And we have also requested the honorable Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah, to come. Let's hope. 
Tripura Chief Minister Biplav Kumar Dev laid stress on continuing independence of judiciary as guaranteed by the constitution, asserting that his government is committed to the independent status of judiciary. Inaugurating a new building of the district and session court of West District, Dev appealed to the judges, including justice of the High Court present in the meeting, to maintain utmost strictness in dispensing justice, especially against heinous crimes. The Chief Minister also said that more and more qualified women should come forward to assume responsibilities in the the state's judiciary as in all other spheres of public functioning. Assam Health and Family Welfare Minister Dr. Himanta Bishwa Sharma today launched the third phase of Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana at a function held in Guwahati. In this phase, another 123 government hospitals and three private hospitals across Assam were included under Ayushman Bharat scheme. Since the launch on 23rd September 2018, more than 75,000 beneficiaries have availed cashless treatment in 179 impaneled hospitals. Addressing the function, Dr. Sharma said that the government has decided to cover about 2.5 lakhs below the poverty line people under the scheme. He also called upon the doctors and Arogya Mitras to serve the people sincerely and make the Ayushman Bharat scheme a success. The minister also released a coffee table book titled Journey of Quality and awarded several hospitals for showing good service under National Health Mission. Earlier in the morning, a walkathon was flagged off to mark the beginning of the third phase of Ayushman Bharat from Digholi Pukri in Guwahati. Principal Secretary of Health and Family Welfare Samir Sinha, Kamrup Metro Deputy Commissioner Bishwajit Pegu and several other dignitaries participated in the walkathon along with people from different walks of life. In Arunachal Pradesh, Ayushman Bharat Pakwara is being organized across the state. On this occasion, a mass awareness rally on Ayushman Bharat was organized today in Itanagar Capital Complex area, Nahalagun. Large number of medical officials, doctors, nursing staff and people from different walks of life took part in the street march. Speaking on this occasion, Dr. M. Lego, Director of Health Services, said that the main aim of the program is to make aware and motivate people to utilize the facilities being provided under Ayushman district hospital ke district coordinator se Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren launched a week-long Seva Saptao with donating blood at State BJP office in Imphal on Saturday. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister Biren said that the celebration was organized to commemorate the Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dedication for the cause of welfare of the nation. During the course of the celebration, discussion programs will be held to deliberate on how to protect environment for future generations, he added. In Assam, a week-long workshop on smartphone filmmaking was conducted at AIMT in Guwahati from Sunday. At the inaugural session, Director of Film and Television Institute of India, FTII, Bhupendra Kainthola, said that Assam is a very talented state and it is for the second time FTII is conducting such short-term course in collaboration with Brahmaputra Foundation. The course director, Ajmal Jami, in his address said that smartphone is one of the very user-friendly devices which can be used in filmmaking with less budget and delivering excellent creativity. Almost 20 candidates are participating during the workshop. The course is supported by NRL. Uh, not only to do WhatsApps and all of that, but it is also a very powerful uh, filmmaking device and we can put it to use. We will look for uh, better partnerships also, uh, maybe some support from the state government. 
In sports news, the home season of the Indian cricket team will kick off from today when the men in blue take on South Africa in the first of three games of the 2020 international series. The match will be played in Dharamshala at 7 this evening. All India Radio will broadcast live commentary on the match alternately in Hindi and English from 6.30 p.m. India are ranked lower than South Africa in the ICC T20 rankings but will be the big favourites in this series. To connect people with water and spread awareness, Ministry of Jal Shakti organized the Great Ganga Run in New Delhi. Union Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports Kiran Rijiju along with Union Minister for Jal Shakti Gajendra Singh Shekhawat flagged off the run. A large number of people from all age groups participated in the marathon. Talking to media on the occasion, Kiran Rijiju said that Great Ganga Run is not merely for saving water, but it also encourages you to be an active participant in the government's ongoing Fit India campaign. He affirmed that the government is working to improve sports facilities in Jammu and Kashmir. तो अभी फिट इंडिया कैंपेन पे चला रहे हैं साथ साथ तो फिटनेस भी हो रहे हैं यू आर क्लीनिंग द एनवायरनमेंट यू क्लीनिंग द गंगा यू आर क्रिएटिंग फिटनेस अवेयरनेस आल्सो सो माय बेस्ट विशेस टू ऑल द मैराथन रनर लखीमपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ असम इज नोन फॉर प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गोल्डन सिल्क मुगा a number of self-help groups of the district have become economically self-sustainable by themselves and have been able to provide assistance to others as well. A report. Golden silk is a symbol of Assam's pride and it attains world fame. Lokhimpur district of Assam is known for production of golden silk, the Muga. A number of youths and volunteer organizations of the district have become economically self-sustainable by itself and have been able to provide assistance to others. Such a group called Dhenu Khana, self-help group consisting of young men and women of Batamari village panchayat, have been reaping the fruits from their hard work in the field. A few conscious women started this group in the year 2011. Rearing Muga silkworm, they have been very much successful in cutting silk thread and marketing the same. They received financial aid under Kanaklota Women Empowerment Scheme and now villages of Gila Mora, Jan Bhari, Hunari Sapuri, Dhenu Konda, etc. are busy in cultivating som trees and rearing of silkworm as their livelihood. With inputs from Doyal Krishnanath, Bureau Report, DD News, Guwahati. In Manipur, National Lok Adalat was held today at Lamphelpat Court Complex for Imphal East and Imphal West Districts. It was organized under the guidelines of the National Legal Services Authority by Manipur State Legal Services Authority for the year 2019. The Lok Adalat was also organized at Thobal, Vishnupur, Ukhrul, Sinapati, Chirachanpur, Tengnopal and Jiribam districts by District Legal Services Authority Concert. Altogether, 558 cases have been settled, of which 542 are pre-litigation matters, and 17 pending cases before the courts comprising of criminal compoundable cases, civil cases, family court cases, insurance claim cases, negotiable instrument act cases. During National Lok Adalat, Justice K. H. Nobin, Judge of Manipur High Court and Executive Chairman of Manipur State Legal Services Authority, along with officials, visited Lamphel Court Complex. Still in Manipur, the two-day discussion on Manipuri cinema presents scenario and measures for development was concluded at Tribal Research Institute, Chingmerong, today. Speaking on the occasion, renowned filmmaker Aribam Shyam Sharma stated that film as a subject in the country is in a confusing state since some have attached it with industry and some included it in art and culture. There is no clear-cut policy till date even in Manipur. There is no concrete authority to handle the films in the state. He also suggested including film studies as one of the subjects in the cultural university. Several film organizations presented papers about Manipuri cinema. And before we wind up the bulletin, a recap of the headlines. President Ramnath Kovind unveils a bust of Mahatma Gandhi at Villeneuve, Switzerland, says his legacy will inspire mankind. Doordarshan completes 60 years. People remember its journey that revolutionized television circuit in the country. 
Manipuri women play an important role in various social issues in the state, says Governor Dr. Najma Heptullah. Assam government to cover over 2.5 lakh BPL families under Ayushman Bharat, says Health and Family Welfare Minister Himanta Bishwa Sharma. And in cricket, first T20 international between India and South Africa to begin a short while from now at Dharamshala. That brings us to the end of this evening's bulletin. Thank you for tuning in. Namaskar.